everyone, good morning and welcome to Kantipur TV HD. You're watching Kantipur Yoga and I'm Zayan. In today's episode, we will be practicing a hip opener flow. So the entire episode is focused on our hips. So hips like only uh, hamstrings like strengthen karni. Basically, it's a lower body like loose kasri parni stretches for the lower body. Now hips like koste koste all got tricky unsa. Now if you have sciatic pain, so sciatic a nerve like say, ek dum actively uh, pain boy ratsa bani say. Try and av- avoid this flow or asana practice. If you have sciatica and you still want to try, kita oily say pain boy ratsa hai na bani say. You can ask your doctor and see doctor le sikhe bano unsa. Only then will you try this asana if you have sciatic pain. Again, if you have acute or uh, varicose veins or thrombosis or any vein problem on your leg and ankles you will consult with your instructor and doctor before starting this or practicing this asana and flow practice because this is very intense on our legs our hips and our ankles so tyo kura chai dhyan ma rahira matre we are going to practice this asana flow now whenever you're ready we will again come in towards our vajrasana This asana I am sitting in right now is called Vajrasana. You will sit up on your knees. Your hips will be down on your ankles and your feet. We will relax down here. You as asana mama bose ra che. We can do a little breath work. You can take your left hand onto your belly, right hand onto your chest. Deep breaths in from your nose into your chest and belly. So yeah, so we can practice a breath technique. I would like to introduce to you. It's called four, seven, and two. So four, seven, and two means inhale, Garni, for four counts. So you can inhale, one, two, three, and four. Exhale for seven counts and count till seven again. So exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Hold empty lungs. So that's not helping. Let's say we will hold empty lungs for two counts. One and two. Then again, inhale for four. Exhale for seven. Empty lungs for two counts. You will keep this breath pattern going. Four, seven, and two. This also gives your mind a job to do. So our mind is always jumping back and forth. Things that are going on. You can't go go the hell it say our mind gets a job to do and when our mind gets a job to do it's a little bit a little bit more calmer and it's easier to focus on your breath and be more grounded in the present moment This you can repeat as many times as you want as many times as you want to practice ab say that your legs must be feeling halka numb or tingling what we will do now is we will slowly get off but come on to our toes so we will take our palms down with the support of our palms we will slowly start to come up onto the knees first we will gently take the right leg outside onto the heels if you're comfortable if your knees are comfortable we'll stay on our heels if you're not comfortable you'll stay down khuta la diagonally place kare ra now toes pasadi will stay curled up Now what you're going to do is you're going to gently sit back onto your heels and you're going to try and lean down. You're gently going to lean back up, come back into the front. Go back down, sit onto your heels. Again, this is a little strong on the ankle pasadi, so please watch your body weight coming down and up. In case the big fingertips are feeling too sore trying to practice this, we can form a fist. Press the fist down onto the floor. Inhale, come back in. Exhale, we go back down. Rotation completely. Inhale, come back in. Exhale, sit down onto your heels. Gently, whenever you're ready, we will try and lean into the side. Slowly come back up, back into the front. Last time, back down slowly and come back down. Now we are ready. Come back up onto your knees again. Draw this leg, bend the knee, slowly come back in. Extend your left leg outside. Again, same drill onto the left leg. Now, one trick to keep in mind is your toes. Let's say, don't strain by that. So when you say, when you come into the front, relax the toes, pass hardy. Then again, put them back down. 
You can rotate your heels also into that side. And back in again, slowly coming in, really reaching in for your ankle, coming back up into the front again. Back down in, stretching it out. Come back up and back down. Last time, hold this here, slowly back into the middle. Gently coming up onto the toes again. Balance. Whenever you're ready, palms down to the floor. We will gently start to stand up. Still onto your toes. You will still be onto your toes. So you will say I will show you sideways so you can understand better. We will come down in again. We will come down onto our toes. Gently seated here again. Engage your pelvis. Engage your belly. Whenever you're ready. Palms down in. Slowly back up in two. And up onto your toes. Hold this here. It will be a very intense stretch onto your hamstrings and calf muscles. Also a little bit on your hips now because your hips are leaning into the right side. Gently come back up into the middle. Switch sides. Take your right leg overlap the left knee. Hold that there. Up onto your toes. Breathe through. If you need to relax, relax. Come back down. Come back up again. Gently back down, inhale, Oof. come back up, seated. That's fine if you wibble wobble off the balance. This is a little strong movement, hold this. Whenever you're ready, take your feet just a little bit wide apart. Inhale, hands up, chair pose. Exhale, back down onto your toes. Inhale, back up, chair pose. Exhale, onto your toes. Inhale, back up, chair pose. Exhale, back down, balance, down onto your toes. Inhale, last time, back up, chair pose. Exhale, down. Gently come down onto your tabletop, slowly knees down. Extend your right leg outside, breathe through. Now we will gently take our hands into the front, back down, slowly back up. Now if you want to make it more intense, straighten the knee, back down, back up, into the middle, straighten the knee, crawl back out and down, come back up, repeat on the other side. Once you're done with this side, come back down again. We will slowly now sit down, squeeze up, hold, go back down, squeeze up, push the pelvis inward, go back down, come back up, squeeze, back down, exhale, inhale, back down, exhale, back down, come back up, exhale. Hold this here. Now you can do this and then repeat on the other side. Slowly bring the knees into the middle again. Bend, come back up, crawl to the outside, down in and up. Now always one side is gonna feel different than the other. So we will see which side feels more tight and less and focus more accordingly. Come back up, in and out. In case you have knee, knee problems, you want to not push yourself too much or wear a kneecap. At least five times on each side. Come back down. Now last time. And back up. Gently what you do, curl the toes behind. Slowly curl it up. Slowly start to lift up and into the middle. We'll be doing a few squats now. So we will come down in towards our malasana. Whenever you're ready, turn the toes outside, inhale, exhale, come down in. Use both your fingers, tuck it beneath the toes, slowly stand up. Exhale, back down, inhale, back up. Exhale, back down, inhale, back up. 
Exhale. Inhale. You can do this as many times as you want. Play side to side whenever you're ready. Hands up from the sides of the body. Coming up into your namaskar and down. Now coming up in to the front of the mat. What we'll be practicing now again, we did this in the last episode also. What you'll be doing is the yogi squat and sit down. So you will come up. Come down in. Exhale. This time you come down onto your knees. Sit down. Come back up onto your toes. Malasana. Stand up. Yeah, so we'll do this movement a couple of times. Take a breath with you. So inhale again, inhale here. Exhale, squat. Inhale, lean front. Exhale down. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, squat. Inhale, stand up up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, down. Back up. And come back up. Slowly and steady. Now for relaxation, you will start to bend forward. Drop down. Let your entire body weight. You can look at your nails. And look at your feet. You can pulsate down, up. Go side to side. Slowly what you'll do is you will take your knees down. And then both the, the knee comes down. Slowly back up here. So now when you come up onto your knees, we can go into our child's pose. So hips are focused on the We will always make sure we are in a wide leg child's pose. So come down in again, relax, drop your belly in. Now the reason why we open our knees in our child's pose is to support our pet and to support our ribs. So now that there is space over here, our lungs and stomach can breathe easily open in and out. So what we do is gently come down in, make space, gently relax, come down here. Whenever you're ready, we will gently come back up onto our tabletop, not our down dog. We're focusing more on our hips, so we will come up into our tabletop this time. Take your knees up outside or up whenever you, whatever you like. Take your legs up in here or bring it in. Take your right leg, gently step it outside your right palm. Place your left arm in the line of the foot or your ankle. Now you will take your right palm which is free and you're going to push the right knee outside. Drop the pelvis from the left side down. Now stay aware of your kneecap dollar. You want to curl your toes up. Control the body weight falling on your kneecap. Push outside. You can also come down into your lizard lunge whenever you're ready. Bring your chest back into the middle and slowly forearms will come down. So take your time, adjust your body weight onto your knees. The knees are a very delicate joint, so make sure you're keeping them very relaxed and padded if needed. Slowly take your forearms down and let's hold this over here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slowly coming back up bring the hands back up now you want to watch my ankles if you think you're more flexible also from the ankles and you want to intensify the stretch you can also tilt come back up slowly relaxing back taking your knees underneath again your hips left leg coming outside the left palm adjust again whenever you're ready again take the left palm push the left hip outside so gently take the pelvis push it down to the right take your left hand push the knee outside if you want to twist more you can also add this twisting motion halka spine and back leg intensify 
Again, make sure you're not locking this elbow, you're keeping it soft. Lock Garda Herite, you have chances of popping and falling. So keep this elbow soft. Again, whenever you're ready and you want to come down into the lizard lunge, take the left leg halka baira, then come down in very gently onto your lizard lunge. Take both your hands down in to your forearms. Again, make sure your knees are doing okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slowly coming back up. Gently relaxing the hip and pushing back up into your tabletop. If you're tired, we'll do a few deep breaths over here. Again, we'll choose Vajrasana instead of any other asana. This is also great for your digestion. So if you're having digestive problems, this is great for that also. And whenever you're ready, you will gently come up in to your downward dog this time. So from the tabletop, we can go into our child's pose and then downward dog, or we can come in from our downward dog directly again up in here let's hold this down dog here heels nice and wide just a little bit we push the heel to toe si slightly if you want to switch the torso into the side all the way feel free to sway your hips or just stay here And one, slowly knees down in, chest down second, pull yourself up and cobra. Now if your hips are tight and your lower back is feeling a lot of stretch and pain in this asana here, you can come down, open up your hips just a little bit more or come down in to your baby cobra. This is the, ba the baby cobra or the sphinx pose, you can choose any one. We'll do five nice long deep breaths over here. Keep your neck neutral, nice and relaxed. Inhale, exhale over here. After you're done with five deep breaths, what we're going to do now is a little twisting movement with our back. So we will slowly take the left knee up towards the ceiling. So very gently prepare yourself to lift the left leg up all the way. For that, we'll have to bring our chest down so that I'm going to help us to lift the bum up. We will slowly come here first. Now once you're here, if you still want to catch your breath and relax, you can stay here. So coming up in, we will bring our hands into the front or over here. We will extend the left leg up towards the ceiling and twist all the way down. So you really want to open up your chest and hip, not like this, you will open it up and twist. The goal is to open up the hinge of the hip and to twist the spine. Breathe through. Whenever you're ready, come back in to the floor. Breathe through again over here. Gently take your time, move to the other side. You'll take your left leg up and twist all the way down in here. Back up slowly, inward towards the floor again. Make space for yourself. Now to end the practice, you're going to stay here. We do 10 deep breaths. You can stay here, relax, drop the head down. Now you're going to watch the belly and the back. So inhale, Gorda Herice. You're going to feel the pelvis rise up. Exhale, Gorda Herice. The back will collapse down. Keep breathing in. So majority of the time, the COVID back will be up a lot of people were advised to sleep on their belly so that you can expand your lungs from the back to breathe in. This is also yogic science. If you sleep on your belly, the lungs get a little space to expand from the back. As you inhale in, the chest opens from the back and as you exhale, the chest contracts in from the front. So whenever you're ready and you're done with your 10 deep breaths over here, we will slowly start to rise up. You can end your asana into your child's pose. 
and then you can slowly come back into the middle and practice your meditation if you want or you can end your practice there and call it a day and I hope you enjoyed this practice with your hip openers especially the malasana squat and the forward fold that was very intense very great for your hamstrings and thighs and your hip openers that also keeps your lower back and spine very healthy in case you're struggling with kamar kudard this entire flow is great for you to practice and i will see you again tomorrow with another episode of another fun flow again this few episodes are going to be full of strengthening practices so all these stretches that we've done the last few um, yoga classes have been very strength focused so i hope you enjoy this and i will see you again soon tomorrow thank you so much